With television out of bounds, Romania's witches have been reduced to advertising in the papers. Georgia is a 22-year-old public relations student. She's looked at various witches' adverts before deciding on Rodica. Georgia wants to know whether she'll get back together with her ex-boyfriend. I'm particularly interested in finding out about a man that I had quite a long relationship with. I want to know if he's the man for me. If not, I'm curious to know who'll be next. How's it going to happen and when? I just want to know the essential things. I don't want her to tell me any details. I don't want them to get stuck in my head and have them influence me. You're thinking about a man at the moment. You have your doubts about this man in your heart. Just when you think he's yours, he slips through your fingers. So you've come to hear the truth? Yes. But you're not going to get upset? No. What happens to you is unholy. You have evil spells cast upon you. Your love life has been disrupted by two women, a mother and a daughter. You first pick the card of doubt, and then the second card reveals your two enemies. These women are quite close to your family. They swore not to rest until they bring ruin upon you. They took earth that you had trodden on to a witch, and with that earth she undermined your love life. The witch put a spell in an empty walnut shell and buried it by the head of a dead man. The spell is such that when you meet a man, you will never stay with him. You will have no future with him and nothing will go well between you. Happiness, you should have none. If you don't undo these spells, you could meet 20 men and have no happiness or satisfaction with any of them. Rodika explains that she'll need to probe further into the evil spells to be able to help Georgia. This will take time and money. I have to admit, there were a few things that were true in what she said, but I'm a bit disappointed that she didn't tell me anything about the future. Her explanation was that she can't see the future because of the evil spells. Diana is getting ready for her second meeting with Rodica. She needs nine candles and three coins from a church for the protective amulet that Rodica will make for her. She also needs to buy three flowers of different colors and a pot of honey. In Rodica's hands, these everyday objects are supposed to work magic. Diana takes her shopping to Rodica's house. Did you bring nine candles? Yes, they've melted a bit. It doesn't matter. For this curse to be lifted, you must stick with me. I will give you the amulet in nine days' time. Do I have to come back in nine days? Of course. I have to perform three different spells to rid you of this curse. You don't just snap your fingers and you perform miracles. This never happens. For the magic to work, Diana is told to perform a ritual at home for the next nine days. On the tenth day, she has to return to pick up the amulet that Rodica will make. The amulet costs the equivalent of a hundred dollars, ten times more than the initial tarot reading. With each session, Rodica's prices go up and at least two more rituals are needed. Viorel is waiting for an answer to his petition from the television regulator. None is forthcoming. So we went to meet his nemesis. Ralu Philip is the president of Romania's television regulator. You mustn't show me limping. Your viewers will say he's a lame man, therefore he's frustrated and evil, and that's why he doesn't allow the witches to advertise. We were in danger of seeing television in Romania turned into a permanent fortune-telling business. By banning the witches from advertising, we've reduced the number of people who are being swindled. 
At a certain point, when we were drafting this bill, some members of our commission lost their nerve. They are as superstitious as anyone else in this country. But the truth is, we, the television regulator, only drafted this bill. It was Parliament that passed the law. The new law was passed in order to comply with requirements for EU membership. There's no going back. Tonight is Midsummer Night. Rodika, her daughter and two helpers, are getting ready to leave to perform the ritual. In the past, the witches used to fly on broomsticks. Nowadays, they drive in Audis, they have mobile phones, they no longer fly on brooms. The Midsummer Night ritual has to be performed by water. Rodika is now on her way to a nearby lake. Tonight I'm only allowed to perform love spells. I'm doing this ritual for the many girls who have come to me for help with their love lives. Midsummer night is the night of the love fairies. Through this ritual, Rodika is bringing them offerings to win their favor. Tonight, I will make this sacrifice for the fate of Diana and Georgia. May this blood cleanse them of all evil spells. You serpent, you dragon, don't reach, don't screech. Don't seize their destinies, their love lives and their marriages. You aim high and enter their fate. Remove yourself from their fate. Go back to where you came from and to whoever sent you. These girls are innocent. You, twelve fairies, I'm sending you these offerings on this night so I get the power to cast away all the black magic, all the evil spells. You, evil, go and never come back. Go where the priest doesn't chant, where the shepherd doesn't graze his sheep. Receive my offerings, you, twelve fairies. Georgia has been thinking about Rodika's predictions. She has decided not to go back. Maybe this method works through a kind of self-suggestion for those who are weak or for people who at that moment in their lives can't find their own solutions. The fact that she didn't tell me much and she talked about possible future payments made me distrust any gifts that she says she has got. This is just a business. But with Diana is a different story. She's meeting friends to tell them how much her life has changed since she met Rodika. I have some news to tell you. I went to a witch. She told me that I'm going to have a long and happy life. That's really good. Ever since she was little, Diana always believed that she was going to die young. I'm never going to say that again. I'm going to have a long and happy life. She told me that my current relationship doesn't have a future. He's not the one destined for me. This made me sad because I was hoping that I could build something with that man. Do you trust Rodika? Yes, I trust Rodika. And I'm going to take you there too, to show you. Back at home, Diana anoints herself with honey. It's part of Rodika's prescribed ritual to lift a curse upon her family and to improve her love life. Her predictions seem to come true. I do think we can avoid certain things. Indeed, there is a destiny for each of us, but I think we can choose our path. Even in the face of adversity and modernization, witchcraft is thriving here. Midsummer night is now over, but Rodika continues her nightly work rituals commissioned and paid for by her thousands of clients. Evils, go away and don't come back. May God cure them and give them joy throughout their lives. May God cure them.
Mede bir akıyor. Lak Sofi.